Please be upon you, my dear student. Welcome to be with you, Ms. Amal Ma'roof, in second revision in first semester for Prep 3. Let's start. We have today some uh, question about Unit 2. The objectives, we will learn about this unit, some question, types of question, and exercise on the model answer of the question. Let's, let's start. Question number one, write suitable word to complete the following sentences. Question number one, the focal length of a convex lens equals the distance between space and space. Answer the following question and we will receive your answer on the chat. The focal length, it is the distance between, yes. What is the answer of this question? Focal lens, lens equal the distance between optical center and the focus. Optical center, it is a point inside the lens, while focus, it is a point of collection of refractive light rays of convex lens. Question number two. The concave lens space rays fall falling on it. We know that lenses can be classified into two types, concave and the convex. Convex lens is called, yes, collective lens, as it collects light after falling. While concave lens is called, yes, diverge. What is the meaning of diverge? Means it scatter or rays in many direction. Concave lens diverges the, the rays falling on it. Number three. The focal length of convex lens equals 10 cm. The half radius of the surface is a space centimeter. We know the relation between focal lens and radius. We know that radius equal double focal lens and the focal lens equal half radius. So focal length of the convex lens in front of you equal 10 cm. So the half radius of surface equal 10 centimeter also. Yes, because they are equal. Number four. Number four in this question, the phenomena of the light bouncing off in the same medium when it meets the reflecting surface is called space. We know that light has many properties. Number one, it travels in a straight line. Number two, reflects when it falls on reflecting surface. Number three, refracting. Refract when it passes through two different transparent medium. In this question, he asks you about the phenomena of the light bouncing or reflecting in the same medium when it meets the reflecting surface. This phenomena is called light reflection. Yes, the correct answer, light reflection. Number five, the point is that is in the middle of the reflecting the surface of the concave mirror is called. He asks you about the point in the middle of reflecting the surface. Yes, this point is called pool. The pool point that is in the middle of the reflecting the surface of concave mirror or convex mirror. Question number six. The radius of concave mirror equals a space of its focal length. I answered this question before. Yes, when I said that, there is a relation between radius and the focal lens. We know radius equal, yes, I can hear you, double of its focal lens. The correct answer of this question, the radius of concave mirror equals double of its focal lens. Another question, write suitable word to complete the following sentences. Number seven, the space is the image that can be received on a screen. Yes, we know that images that form it by concave mirror and the convex mirror or convex lens and the concave lens has two types. Number one, real. Number two, virtual. What is the meaning of real image? It is the image that can be formed or received on a screen. So he asks you about the image that can be received on a screen, which is called real image. And when we said that there is another type of images that are formed by 
mirror which is called virtual image that is the image that can't be received on a screen why the first image is called real and the other is called the virtual real image which is formed due to collection of reflected or refracted light rays while virtual image it is the image that is formed due to intersection between extension of refracted light rays or reflected light rays number eight the incident light ray parallel to principal axis of the concave mirror it will reflect pass through yes he asks you about the passes of rays that fall on concave mirror we know that there are three passes of rays number one when incident light ray parallel to principal axis it will reflect passing by or through focus it is the first pass of ray but when incident light ray falls parallel to principal axis it will reflect reflect butting by or through focus and the second pass when it passes through the focus it will reflect parallel to principal axis the third pass of ray when it passes through center it will reflect on itself as the angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal zero another question question number nine the short sighted person needs the medical eye glasses with a space lens we know that we can treat the short sightedness as a vision defect by what concave or convex lens short sightedness can be treated by concave lens why to diverge light ray before entering the eye lens to diverge light rays before entering the eye lens while long sightedness can be treated by convex lens to collect light rays before entering the eye lens question number three the vision defect which is due to shortness in the radius of the eye sphere the vision defect which is due to shortness in the radius of eye sphere or diameter shortness of diameter this vision defect is called long sightedness as we know that there are many reasons for long sightedness number one decreasing of eye pool diameter decreasing of convexity and increasing the focal length there are three reasons for long sightedness as vision defect and short sightedness has three reasons also number one increasing the diameter of the eye pool increasing the convexity of the eye lens and decreasing the focal lens question number 11 write suitable word to complete the following sentences the straight line that passes by the pool of the mirror and its spherical center that is called he asks you about the straight line passes by two point pool and center of curvature that is called yes i can hear you principal axis that is the correct answer a straight line that passes by the pool of the mirror and its spherical center is called principal axis question number 12 the distance between the focus of concave mirror and its pools are called. He asks you about the distance between focus and the pool. That is called, yes, focal lens. Question number 13. Convex mirror has focal lens of 30 centimeters. Then the radius of its spherical surface equals what? We know the relation between focal lens and the radius. We know that focal lens equal half a radius so when the focal lens of a convex mirror equals 30 centimeter so its radius equal 60 centimeter another type of question choose the correct answer question number one if a light ray falls passing the optical center of the convex lens it leaves the lens passing through its focus parallel to principal axis without refraction what is the correct answer passing through focus or parallel to principal axis without refraction which one is correct yes the correct answer 
without refraction. It has blue color. The correct answer has different color in front of you. Yes, if a light ray falls passing the optical center of convex lens, it leaves the lens without any refraction as the angle of incidence equal angle of refraction equal zero. Question number two. Lens is placed in the passage of sun rays. A very small image is formed at a distance, yes, 10 centimeters. So this distance equal, yes, I can hear you, focal lens. Why? Because there is a very small image is formed at focus. So the distance between the lens or the optical center and the focus is called focal lens. Focal lens equal 10. The same lens is used to obtain virtual, enlarged, and the erect image of a body. Which of the following distances from optical is correct? 10, 20, 4, 50 centimeter. Which of them is correct? Yes, he asks you to find the distance between optical center and the focus. Yes, or the distance from optical center to form the image. Where is the object? Yes, I don't know. But I know the properties of image that is formed. What are the properties of image that is formed? Virtual, enlarged, and erect. Yes, that is the only way by which the image is formed. Virtual, enlarged, and erect. When the object is put at distance, less than a focal lens. Yes, so the correct answer equal 4. Why 4? It is the only answer is less than focal lens, less than 10. So the image will be formed virtual, enlarged, and erect. Virtual, enlarged, and erect image is formed. Question number 3. An incident ray falls on plane mirror as in the figure. It reflects and the angle of reflection equals space. Yes, when light rays falls by this way, this means that it falls perpendicular, so it will reflect this on itself. Why? Because the angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal zero. The angle of reflection in this case equal zero. That is the correct answer by different color. Question number four. In a lens, the radius of curvature equals 20 centimeters. So it's a focal lens equal 5, 20, 10, 40. Which, which of them is correct? A, 1, 2, 3, 4. Which of them is correct? When the radius of curvature equal 20, uh, we know the relation between radius and the focal lens. What is the relation? Radius equal double focal lens. So the focal lens equal half radius equal half multiply 20 equal 10 centimeter. Question number five. Convex lens with a focal lens of 20 centimeters and an object was placed 40 centimeters from the lens. The image of the object is formed at what? He said that focal lens of this convex lens equal 20 and the object was placed at 40. This means that the object becomes at distance equal double focal lens. So the image will be formed at distance equal double focal lens and has number one, real, inverted, and equal in size image that is formed. So the image will be formed at distance equal 40. Y equal double focal lens. Question number three. An object when placed at distance less than a focal lens of convex lens, the properties of the image formed are what? This question, we answered it before. When we said that when the object put at distance less than a focal lens, there is only one state. And the properties of image that is formed by this way, virtual, bright, and enlarge it. Yes, the correct answer, virtual, upright and enlarge it. Another question. Number seven. When the object is at the center of curvature of concave mirror, the image is what are the properties of image that is formed? 
when the object at center? Yes, it is similar to the previous question. But the difference between them in question number six, we talk about convex lens, but now we will talk about concave mirror. When the object at distance equal double focal lens, this means that the object at center, so the image will be formed real, inverted, and equal to the object. The correct answer number B, real, inverted, and equal to the object. Question number eight. When placed at distance less than a focal length of convex lens, the properties of image formed are number one, yes, less than a focal length, virtual, upright, and enlarge it. Virtual, upright, and enlarge it. Question number nine. Concave mirror with focal length 20 cm and the object is placed at distance of 50 cm from the mirror. The image formed at distance what? Yes, he said that the object is put at distance equal 50. What is the relation between the distance at which the object is placed in front of the concave mirror and the focal lens? Yes, greater than a double. When the object becomes a distance greater, greater than the double focal lens, this means that the image that be formed at less than a double and the greater than focal lens. This means that this image will be formed at distance more than 20 and less than 40, greater than focal lens and less than double focal lens. Do you understand? Yes. Question number 10. Spherical mirror where its radius equal 60 centimeters. Its focal length equal to, yes, we know that focal length equal half a radius. So the correct answer equal 30 centimeters. Question number 11. Focal length of concave mirror equal, equals 10 centimeters. To obtain virtual image, the body is placed at distance from the mirror pool equals space. Virtual image, it is the only state when the object becomes at distance less than focal lens. When the focal lens equal 20, so when the object at distance less than focal lens, it will form an image that is virtual image. So the correct answer is 5, because it, it is the only answer less than 10, which is focal lens. Question number 12. The Romans use a huge optical paste to burn the sails of enemy's ships by using sun rays. What is the suitable optical paste to do that? Romans use a glass paste or optical paste, which is, yes, I can hear it to you. Yes, concave mirror. Concave mirror, it is used to collect light rays come from sun and burn the ships of enemies. Question number 13. The optical paste which form is equal, reverse it, image to the body is. It is only optical paste that form reverse it. What is the meaning of reverse it, laterally inverted type? Which paste in front of you form reverse it image? Yes, plain mirror only. It is the only paste which is used to form reverse it image or laterally inverted. This means that the right part in the fact is left part in the mirror, and the left part in the fact is the right part in the mirror. Question number 14. The image of the body formed behind the plane mirror is always, he asks you about the properties of image that is formed by plane mirror. Number one, virtual. Number two, upright. Number three, equal in size. Which of them is correct? One or two or three or four? Yes. Number four, virtual equal erect or upright. Another type of question. Give a reason. Number one, the focal length of thick convex lens is less than thin convex lens. Why? Why the focal length it changes from one mirror or one lens to another yes according to what according to 
the convexity of its lens. Because the convexity of its lens surface is larger, so the focus is nearer to the optical center. So the focal lens becomes smaller than in the second case. Focal lens again, focal lens of thick convex lens is less. This means that the thin convex lens has bigger focal lens. Why? Because the convexity of the, its lens face is large, so the focus becomes nearer to the optical center and the focal lens becomes smaller in the case of thick convex lens. Another question. The concave lens is used to trade short sightedness. Why? It is used as an optical face to trade the short sightedness as vision defect. Why we can use the concave lens? Why? To diverge the rays before falling on the eye, so the image will be formed on the retina of the eye or exactly on the retina of the eye. Concave lens is used to treat a short sightedness. Why? To diverge the rays before falling on the eye, so the image is formed exactly on the retina. Because we know that in short sightedness, the image will be formed in front of retina, not on the retina of the eye. To form the image on the retina, we can use concave lens. Why? To diverge rays before falling on the eye and the form image on the retina. Question number three. The long sightedness is treated by using convex lens. It is the opposite to question number two. Long sightedness is treated by using a convex lens. It is the opposite to question number two. Why? Because short sightedness can be treated by concave lens, while long sightedness can be treated by convex lens. Why? Yes to collect the rays before falling on the eye, so the image is formed exactly on the retina. Why? Because in long sightedness, we know that the image will be formed behind the retina of the eye. And the person which suffers from long sightedness can, be, can see the near object distorted and the far object can be seen clearly. So, we must use convex lens to collect rays before falling on the eye to see our object clearly. Question number four. The object that is placed at focus of convex lens doesn't form an image of it. Yes. Why when we put object at focus, there is no image is forming because the reflected or refracted light rays are parallel to each other. Because refracted light rays are parallel in the case of convex lens and in the case of concave mirror the refracted reflected light rays are parallel to each other and parallel to each other type another question number five the collecting lens has two foci but the collecting mirror has one focus why why lens has two foci why mirror has only one focus because lens has two spherical surfaces, but mirror has one spherical surface. Yes, the correct answer, because lens has two spherical surfaces, but mirror has one spherical surface. Question number six. Most of the people can't write by correct way while they are saying they're writing through plain mirror. Why? Why all of you can't write by correct way? when they are saying they're writing through plain mirror. As plain mirror, form image, yes. I can hear you, yes. Reverse it image. What this means? Yes. Because plain mirror form virtual erect lottery inverted image. So to be corrected, we must write the words in lottery inverted to see correct. Number seven, it is impossible to obtain real image by using convex mirror. Why? It is impossible to obtain real image by using convex mirror, but we can obtain real image by concave mirror. But by using the convex mirror, it is impossible. Why? 
because it gets excellent diverges light rays after falling on it, as it is called diverging mirror. Another type of question. Mention the position and the properties of image formed of an object by means of convex lens in each of the following cases. Number one, he asks you to draw the image that is formed by convex lens. Number one, when the object is at distance larger than focal lens and smaller than twice in focal lens, this means that the object between focus and the center. First, that is the object at distance greater than in focal lens and smaller than a double between focus and center. The first ray come from this object passes par parallel to principal axis, so it will refract passing by the focus. Another ray passing by the optical center, it will pass without any refraction. So the image will be formed at distance greater than double focal lens. Yes. Number B. The object is at distance equal to twice the focal lens. This means that the object at center, when the object is placed at distance twice the focal lens, this means that the object at the center. When the object in front of you at center, the first ray comes from the object parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing by the focus. Second path of ray passing by the optical center. There is intersection point, which is ahead of arrow. And the image is formed at center. What are the properties of image that is formed in front of you? Real, inverted, and equal in size. Yes. Another question. Concave lens with focal lens of 10 cm. An object was placed at distance of 30. What is the relation between the distance at which is the object in front of the convex lens and its focal lens greater than a double? As we know that focal lens 10, double equal 20, so the object at distance greater than a double because it is placed at 30 cm. He asks you about the distance of the object image from the lens and its properties. Where is the object? At distance greater than double focal lens. This means that the object before the center of curvature. It is enough to draw two passes of rays come from the object. One of them parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing by the focus. The second light ray come from the object passing by the optical center. It will pass without any refraction. Where is the intersection point? It is formed at distance greater than in focal lens and smaller than in double. What are the properties of this image in front of you? Real, inverted, and dimensioned. And it will be formed at distance greater than in focal lens and the smaller than double in focal lens. Another question. One of the students makes the lens near to one of its eyes and sees through it. He observes that the image of the object seems erect after the lens becomes far to a certain distance from one of its eyes. He observes that the image of the object seems inverted. In first case, when the lens nearer to one of its eye, the image will be formed erect. But when the lens becomes far from his eyes, the image will be formed inverted. The student concludes that the lens must be convergent. What is the meaning of this? Convex lens. The student concludes that the lens must be convergent or convex lens. 
He asks you about is the conclusion of the student correct or incorrect? The type of this lens convex lens or not? Explain your answer. It, his conclusion is correct. Why? It is a convex lens. Why? As it forms real inverted image. But when we said concave, concave well, well formed, yes, virtual, upright, not inverted, and small in size. But the only lens which form inverted is convex lens. So his conclusion is correct as it forms real inverted images. Yes. Another question, complete the path of rays. In front of you, it is Drew, and he asks you to complete the path of rays. The object at distance less than a focal lens. The first ray comes from the head of arrow, parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing by the focus. What happens after that? The second ray passing by the optical center. First case, the ray parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing by the focus. The second ray passing by the optical center. It passes without any refraction. There is no intersection point. What happens? Make extension as you see in the picture. Extension for the two light rays. There is intersection point between the extension of the two rays. So the head of arrow will be formed. And this image is formed. What are the properties of image front of, in front of you? Virtual, upright, and enlarged. Another question. In front of you, a convex lens has its focal length equal 4 cm. An object is placed at distance of 6 cm from the lens. Determine the position of the formed image and its properties by drawing only two light rays. He asks you to draw two light rays only. The focal lens in front of you 4 cm. The focus becomes at distance 4 square 1 2, 3, 4. So the vocal length equal 4 cm. Where is the object at distance equal 4 cm? This means that the object at distance greater than the focal length and smaller than the double. The image will be formed at a distance equal what? First, we can draw light ray for the parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing by the focus. Where is the focus? At distance of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Focus. So, the first pass of ray parallel to principal axis, it will refract passing by the focus. The second pass of ray passing by the optical center, it will pass without any refraction. Where is the image is formed? At distance greater than double the focal lens at distance greater than double focal lens what are the properties of this image number one real number two inverted and enlarged problem number one an object is placed at distance eight centimeter from the pool of the mirror a real minimized image was formed and when the object moves the two centimeter towards the mirror, real and equal to the object the image formed was formed. Again, first the object is placed at distance eight centimeter from a pool of the mirror. What are the properties of image that is formed? Real, minimized. Yes, was formed. And when the object moves the two centimeter, so it becomes at distance six centimeter. What are the properties of image that is formed real and equal? This means that when 
the properties of image which is forming real and equal this means that the object at distance equal double focal length or at center so the image will be formed at the center double focal length equal six why because the object moves two centimeter towards the mirror it becomes at distance six centimeter so the focal length equal six over two equal three centimeter he asks you about the type of mirror and the focal length then show by drawing the bus of rays in first case it is a concave mirror why it is concave mirror because it form real inverted image the focal length becomes three why because it for real equal at distance equal double focal length double focal length equal eight minus two equal six centimeter that is the radius so focal length equal six over two equal three centimeter that is the focal length he asks you to draw the path of rays in the first case where is the first case when the object at distance eight this means that the object at distance is greater than a double focal length it is a concave mirror where is the object at distance greater than double focal length that is the center the first ray comes from the object parallel to principal axis it will reflect passing by the focus focus center second path of ray come from the object passing by the focus it will reflect parallel to principal axis where is the image is formed at distance greater than focal length and smaller than a double greater than double focal length it is enough to draw two passes of rays come from the object when the uh, light ray falls parallel to principal axis it will reflect passing by the focus then the second light ray passing by the focus it will reflect parallel to principal axis this intersection point it is ahead of arrow and the image is formed at distance greater than the focal length and smaller than the double this means that the image will be formed between focus and the center what are the properties of this image number one real number two inverted number two number three dimension excellent my dear students problem number three a body of lens one centimeter is put at distance of four centimeter from a concave mirror its focal length two centimeter Number one, draw a diagram to show the path of rays at which the eye can see the image of the body. Draw diagram to show the path of rays at which the eye can see the image of the body. Number two, mention the properties of the format image. Where is the object? Object has length equal one centimeter. And the distance between the object and the concave mirror equal four its focal length equal two this means that the object at distance equal double focal length he asks you to draw the path of rays concave mirror principal axis the object at distance equal double focal length the first ray parallel to principal axis it will refract reflect passing by the focus the second bus of ray come from the head of arrow passing by the focus it will reflect parallel to principal axis where is image is formed at center or at distance equal double focal length the properties of this image real inverted and equal in size this means that the length of image equal one centimeter as the body. At the end of this session, thank you for listening and we will meet together next week and say good night with you, Ms. Amal Maruf. Peace be upon you.